Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are going to be doing a reboxing of sorts, specifically for the Turcarion Collector's Edition. Yeah, so this is the uh, the one that came with Kickstarter. Uh, we got this uh, a year or two ago, whenever it came out. And this is in celebration of our beginning of our Mind Clash mini-series. We are going to be playing through two different uh, ways to play Turcarion. One with the base, one with the expansion. And then we'll also be continuing on with Anachrony which we'll do a separate video for reboxing that really big, big box. Yes. Uh, so we are going to show you uh, what's inside here and how everything kind of fits. Yes. And so this kind of came about because when we got our version of this game, we pulled open our copy of Tricara and we're, and we're like, I don't know what we're going to do to get all these pieces in here. Yes. So fortunately, we were sent a, a, a instructional setup guide. So now we know exactly how it's meant to be boxed. Mm -hmm and uh, everything fits in there quite nicely. So yeah. we're gonna do a step-by-step, layer-by-layer, kind of uh, showcasing how to put everything in here. Uh, for anybody who does not have the collector's edition of Tricarion, that is okay. We're gonna kind of discuss at, towards the end of the video how we used to organize our standard um, version of the game, which came in this box. Yes. So you don't need to have this big collector's edition in order to kind of take away some stuff from this video. So, yeah. so without further ado, let's start reboxing. All right, so starting with the collector's edition of the box, this is a large square box. Mm -hmm. And so at the very base level, this is the first uh, container that goes in. I think yeah. it's called the base tray. The base tray, yep. Yes, and so this is gonna house uh, stuff like the contraption boards that come with the Dawn of Technology expansion. So that has a nice little insert there. Uh, underneath these cards, we have the dueling magicians. Yeah, this will be setup. used uh, in the two-player game. Yes, and so we're probably going to be using that. And I believe this comes with an expansion as well. It's the uh, Dalgar's Gifts, yep. I believe. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we have the, it's supposed to be the Magnus Pantheon cards. So there are eight of these. These are specifically the Magnus Pantheon uh, theater cards, as well as the dueling magician theater cards that are specifically for two-player mm -hmm. because they do have those neutral those neutral slots. Yep. So those go right on top there. On the opposite side, we have the other theater decks, as well as uh, some of our magician poster cards. Mm -hmm. Now these are going to be the ones that come with the base game, I believe. Yep. Yes, because the ones that come with the academy are going to be placed uh, somewhere, else, somewhere else. So you're kind of dividing your spots. And as you can see, these uh, trays are big enough to house sleeve cards now. Yeah, there's plenty of depth for both. Uh, we, we don't typically sleeve our cards, but yeah. um, if you are into that, then yes, there is availability for that. Yes. And then these two sides here are just for what they appear to be. They are for the magician powers. And you just kind of split them up into two different areas here. Yeah, it's equal piles. Yes. So that is it for the, the base tray. So on top of these areas here, this is where each individual player components uh, go. So yes, and there is a tray yep. for each color each person. All four colors. And they're gonna house pretty much everything that you need, uh, no matter which version of the game you're playing, because right. it, it has all of the assignment cards. And uh, I can't <laughs> quite pull them out right now without <laughs> flipping it over, but. Uh, and that includes the Academy cards. So right. depending on which version of the game you're playing, you just choose which assignment cards to use. Uh -huh. We also have all of the, the trick markers all the other wooden components are here. You have slots for your assistants and as well yes. as the specialists. So it's pretty much everything. Yep. And they each come with this uh, this plastic tray cover so that all of your pieces don't don't spill out, which we can really appreciate, right? Yeah, and that's a very nice snug fit. So uh, yes. I've never had any concerns about anything falling out. Yeah. And, and it's the same for all four colors, basically. So you're just going to stack them all on the left side here. Oops. It kind of uh, gets... A little bit tight, but you can fit them all in. Mm -hmm. And then we have the other two colors right here. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. And of course, these specialist extensions. And that includes every single one that you can get. So including the ones that don't come with the base game. Right. And they just fit nicely right into this spot that's kind of carved out specifically for these extension boards. Mm -hmm. Next, we have the components tray. So this houses all the different levels of different components that you're going to need to perform your illusions or your tricks. So we have the levels ones, twos, and threes, and each slot is for each individual component. So it's a lot easier to get access to. Yes. Just like in the player pieces, it comes with a nice uh, plastic tray that kind of locks everything in place. No issues at all there. Yes, and it just kind of sits there. might be my favorite tray <laughs> because of how uh, convenient that is yes. just to get all the pieces uh, that you need. On demand. Yes. Now moving forward to the Academy expansion again, we have this next tray, which is specifically for the classroom as well as the practice room tiles. Up here we have secrets tiles, but that's pretty much um, everything that this is used for. And then uh, once again with the lid, and this is going to fit 
just right here, right on top of that whole right side. So that now we have sort of a layer building to fill in this space here. We do have a few bags. So this houses the metal coins, which kind of look like this. Really, really cool. Yes. And, uh, and I a believe, nice thick pouch. I believe if you have the collector's edition, they all came with one set of metal coins. I because I so. know that we definitely did not have <laughs> a set of these before uh, getting this version of the game. No, we did not. Uh, and the next kind of bag holds all of the plastic shards. And so this is going to be very useful in any version of the game that you play. Mm -hmm. So that just kind of fits in right there as well. And then to kind of fill in the top, we have this uh, third type of cloth bag. This is specifically for the contraptions that come with the, uh, I believe it's a Dawn of Technology expansion. Mm -hmm. So yes. these all go into this bag. We're going to roll them up and fit it right there so that we have a nice <laughs> a nice layer i think if we can get it to lay flat yeah that's good all right and the final layer which is probably the main event and kind of the star of the show because it does house all of the different types of tricks you know these are all uh, organized by trick type mm -hmm. uh, underneath them you have all of these special assignment cards and so these will also be organized by location and if you notice they also include uh enough depth enough space for the expansion content yes um, we also have all of the different types of dice that you're going to use even in the base game. The right side here with the colorful dice are for the solo mode. Mm -hmm. We also have the rest of the theater cards, like I was mentioning earlier, the, they kind of separated it between this tray and the other tray. Yep. And then the, the newest uh, magician cards that come with, I believe, I believe this is with the academy. That's why there's that academy symbol. Yeah, anytime you see that blue right symbol, corner. that's academy. Mm -hmm. Yes. And on the right hand side over here, we have uh, these cards that go with, I believe, the Academy as well. And then these special assignment cards for the Academy section specifically. specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have the Magician posters and they're going to fit in nicely right there. We have space. We have a spot specifically for the large shard. You know, that's really important. You don't want to lose your round, your round token. And then we have the prophecies as well as the uh, blockers used in the Academy expansion. So there's a lot going on with this tray. This is a very important one <laughs> that you're going to want to reference. And this is just going to go ahead and sit nicely right on top on. here. As you can see, there are some little uh, plastic poking out things because that is where the board is going to sit, right there. So if you have this version of the game, you most likely have more than one board. So we have our base game board in a somewhere else we don't keep it in this box right this is just for the updated board yeah for because us. you have the academy slots so that's why we're primarily using this one mm -hmm. uh, because they are basically the same speaking of the academy we also have the academy board that will fit in right there as well yep. and they have uh, their own dedicated slots so there's the the smaller slot for the actual game board and then the academy slot that just sits right on top and last but not least we have our player boards that sit right on top just like that we have our rule books and we like to keep all of our rule books as well as the the little uh, small kind of like inserts that come with the expansions. Mm -hmm. yep. So we're just gonna kind of hide those in there, put the rule books on top. And then our magician workbooks. Yep. So we slip those on top and we pretty much have everything, um, everything put away. So we finish it off with the beautiful lid and our Tricarion Collector's Edition is fully reboxed. Yes. Okay, so for anybody who has the base game of Tricarion that looks like this, uh, we never used any sort of insert. No. We were baggy kind of people. We put everything in bags and, just, and tossed it in there. Yeah, it there... wasn't the best system. Yes, there's but... some third party like other uh, wooden inserts and things like that. We never got those. Um... But like you said, yeah, it was kind of baggies for a long time and it made setup um, kind of a little bit of a, more of a chore in that it sense. Did. Yeah. So we don't really have a solution for that specifically, but what we wanted to talk about was the, uh, the tricks, the trick mm -hmm. components and the little pieces, because we do have a solution for that. And it is these, uh, I think these are called tackle they're tackle, tackle boxes. boxes. Yes, they're tackle boxes. Uh -huh. I clearly don't have much experience with the actual purpose of these, uh -huh. <laughs> but they are great for storing small components. Yes, they are. So we put all of the uh, the trick components in in a container like this. We also put stuff like shards mm -hmm. and just uh, you know little little pieces that are otherwise hard to kind of organize on the table. Uh, and you can get several of these, you know, for, for those purposes. And they actually fit in the box uh, when we were able to, to kind of sort it and stack it in there. Mm -hmm. There was no issue with, uh, you know, the, the, the box kind of caving one way or anything like that. And also just as like a general component organizing thing that we do sometimes with some of our other games, 
is these small little containers. And I think we got these from... Container store, maybe? Or like the dollar store or... Yeah. Um, or another place called Daiso. Uh, it's a, it's an Asian market here in Southern California. Yes, I think that's specifically where we got these mm -hmm. from. And they're nice because you can put all of the kind of player pieces in them and stack them, uh, organize them neatly into the box. Mm -hmm. This is currently housing uh, components from a different game, yeah. but these will work quite nicely as well. Mm -hmm. And so there you have it. That is how you rebox Tricarion and how you can maybe, you know, some, some tips on how to organize the base game if you don't have the collector's edition. Mm -hmm. So we are now ready to embark on this journey together. Uh, if you have any questions about what you saw today or just kind of uh, tidbits about how you store and organize your games and not not just specifically for Tricarion, if you have any tips for anybody else out there who's looking to organize heavier games properly, yep. uh, please let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you. So thank you all for joining us. Please stay tuned for later this week. We will be putting out a video of Tricarion, a full playthrough. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.